Assalamualaikum. Assalam. So, we were studying alcohols, phenols, and ethers. So, does anyone have any doubt from the previous class? This was the topic that we covered. Basically, reaction of Oh, wait a minute, please. Please wait a minute. It's something that I cannot find. Okay, let's just start. So basically, we had completed the preparation of alcohol and phenol. And the most important in preparation of alcohol was that basically from Grignard reaction. And we had studied about when a ketone reacts with Grignard reagent, then we get tertiary alcohol. And when an aldehyde except methanol or formaldehyde react with Grignard, we get primary alcohol, but ex, uh, of, sorry, <clears throat> when aldehyde except methanol or formaldehyde react with Grignard, then we get secondary alcohol and when formaldehyde or methanol react with Grignard, then we get primary alcohol. So is there any doubt from that topic? Hamza Sekhani and uh, Fawaz and Nafisa. So, yes, let's yes, start the next topic that is chemical reaction. And the chemical reaction of alcohol and phenol divided into two parts. So basically this alcohol can act as nucleophile as well as electrophile, but there is a condition. So we are going to study up, uh, about that. So the first point we can write. Alcohols. Uh, so there will be slightly a uh, slightly problem in writing. Alcohols react as both. nucleophile as well as vitamin 
as well as electrophile. <clears throat> but there is a condition for this. So what is the condition I'm going to write first? Alcohol as nucleophile. So write with me, then I will explain. This is nucleophile. When the bond between which is broken, then alcohol act as nucleophiles. So the concept is simple. As you know that this is alcohol. Just suppose this is basically alcohol. This is alcohol. So basically when OH bond will be broken, then alcohol will be treated as or alcohol will act as nucleophile as i can show you this is alcohol roh this is roh and if there is any electrophile if there is any electrophile just suppose this is carbocation and as we know that this is this oxygen will have two lone pair that means electron rich species that means nucleophile so what it will do, it will try to attack on C positive because it is electrophile. That means electron deficient compound. And what will happen there? R O. This is O. And it will make bond with this carbon. And the hydrogen will be also bonded with this and oxygen will have positive charge now why because oxygen just donated one of its electron to carbon and make bond with it that's why so this will have positive charge and hydrogen will be so this is how alcohol yes yes for us that's right <coughs> so you can see of okay. i'll change my pen tab soon maybe by tomorrow Now, oxygen, uh, positive charge on oxygen is very less stable. So what it will do, it will take electron from hydrogen and stabilize itself. What oxygen will do, it will take electron from a hydrogen and stabilize itself in this way. Carbon will have three bonds. Please write this. Hello? <clears throat> so alcohol can act as nucleophile as well as electrophile. But when alcohol acts as nucleophile, the bond between OH broken. So please do write it and if you have any doubt in this, please ask me. Alcohol react as both nucleophile 
as well as electrophile alcohol as nucleophile when the bond between oh is broken then alcohol acts as nucleophile Yes, sir. Finish. Everyone done with this? Yes, sir. Awaz, very good. Alia, Sneha, Hamza. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. No, right. Alcohol as see if alcohol is acting as electrophile, mm -hmm. normal alcohol cannot act as electrophile. Protonated alcohol only can act as electrophile, so alcohol as electrophile. So it's better to write. It's better to write. Protonated alcohol. So you are going to write protonated alcohol as electrophile. So see if bond between CO is broken, then alcohol or protonated alcohol. Act as electrophile. Electrophile. So first of all, we have to react this alcohol with a proton. That means basically there is an alcohol. You can see Cr. Sorry, RCH2OH. And proton. In order to make it protonated alcohol, we are going to react this alcohol with proton. So you can see this has a lone pair. This will have a lone pair which will attack this H plus. And it will be basically RCH2 and OH2 plus. OH2 plus. Now, what this al uh, protonated alcohol do? It will basically, you can see there is CH2 and there is OH2 plus. Always remember that this positive charge on more electronegative element is less stable. This positive charge on more electronegative element is less stable. So in order to stabilize their cell, what will they do? They will take electron from its surrounding and stabilize itself. So you can see this oxygen will take electron from carbon and it will stabilize itself, H2O. It will become H2O. Initially, it was CH2OH2 positive. So when it will take electron from carbon, it will be neutral and it will become water and it will be eliminated. Now, if you can see, Carbon has just donated one of its electron to oxygen. Now carbon will have deficiency of electron. And there is a nucleophile which is waiting and it will attack carbon and satisfy carbon. So you can see it will be RCH2Br. RCH2Br. So in this way, alcohol acts as nucleophile as well as electrophile. It's very simple. If OH bond will be broken, that uh, then alcohol will be acting as nucleophile. And only protonated alcohol act as electrophile. And you know that what is electrophile? That means electron. Uh, electrophile, that means electron def, uh, deficient molecule or like this. 
So this nucleophile will satisfy this. So please write it. So basically this chemical reaction is divided into two parts on the basis of cleavage of OH bond and CO bond. So first of all, we will study about the chemical reaction in which OH cleavage, cleavage of OH bond will be there. And there will be basic concepts that I'm going to ask from everyone. Please do respond. Done, sir. Very good, Fawaz. Hamza. Yes, sir. Finish. Very good. Uh, Sneha and Alia, you uh, also please do respond. Thank you. So I'm going to ask the question. Please do let me know. You have studied this in class 10. When acid reacts with metal, what will be the product? Can you tell me? I'm going to write the topic. Just answer me first. Reaction. Involving. Cleavage of. OH bond. So see, uh, what I just asked, no answer from anyone. When acid react with, sorry. Simple, you have studied this in class 10. Acid react with metal. The product is basically salt plus hydrogen gas. Salt plus hydrogen gas. You also have studied about acid plus base. What will be the product? Can anyone answer me? Alia, Nafisa, Fawaz, Sneha, Hamza. When acid react with base, what is the product? Salt plus water. Do you remember it? Yes or no? Please do let me know. Yes, sir. So why you didn't answer me, Fawaz? Sir, this mic problem. Oh, my problem. Very good. Uh -huh, yes, sir. Excuse. Okay. So let's see. Basically, this alcohol is acidic in nature. Weak acid. Weak, uh, weak acid it is. So first of all, in this, we have a topic that is acidity of alcohol. Acidity of alcohol. So see, what is the uh, <clears throat> what is the concept here? So in this, we are going to react this alcohol, that means acid, with matter. So basically, reaction with. If you are unable to read it, please ask me because the cursor is not um, my pen tab is not working good. It's just writing on its own after my writing. <clears throat> So reaction with metals, you can see if there is an alcohol, I'm going to take ROH. This is the alcohol. Uh, uh, wait a minute. I'm going to show you the reaction. This is RO. And since we are studying the cleavage of OH, that's why I just show the, showed the bond between O and H. And reacting with the metal just to show them. So what will happen? Salt will be formed as well as hydrogen. So 
H will be released here and hydrogen gas will form and thus <coughs> this sodium will replace hydrogen and you will get 2R O N. So this will be the salt and this will be the hydrogen gas and this compound is known as basically sodium alkoxide. Sodium alkoxide. This <coughs> R is alkyl, that's why alkoxide. If it is methane, then it will be methoxide. If it is ethane, that means it is ethoxide. If it is propane, then it is uh, propyl, that means propoxide. Are you getting my point, everyone? Yes, yes, okay. So please do uh, write it. And uh, after writing this, please let me know the name of the product or uh, write the uh, product of this reach. There is CH3, there is CH3, there is OH. And this is also an alcohol. You can see the difference is mm, uh, this is basically primary and mm, the alcohol that I just wrote is tertiary reacting with two aluminium and taking six moles of this. Please let me know the product what happens please do let me it's very easy the h will be replaced by a very good but you know what if you are going to say this it's completely wrong if you want to of if you want to do this right you want to do this you want to write this uh, nafisa fawaz <clears throat> so see you have to balance it basically aluminium has plus three so in order to balance it <clears throat> we are going to take since two aluminium is there so i'm going to write two in order to balance aluminium. And since six moles of this CH3C, CH3CH3O is there, so I'm going to take three here. And 3H2 will be released. 3H2 will be released. So its name is basically aluminium tertiary, that means that represents, uh, it is three degree butoxide. Please do write it. And the same reaction follows in phenol also. Sir, what's that aluminium third? Tertiary butoxide. TRT, that means <laughs> that represents tertiary butoxide. Can you write the spelling of butoxide? Yes, sir. Fawaz, are you done with this? Yes, sir. Very good. <clears throat> Hamza? Okay. <clears throat> so there is a simple reaction as I told that the same reaction will be followed in phenol also. So I am going to <clears throat> wait a minute, please. 
I'm going to write a reaction and you are going to answer me. This is phenol and we are going to take two moles of this and reacting with two moles of sodium. Please let me know the products. And also, if I'm going to and also if I am going to This is also this is a phenol, and you are going to react this with NaOH, which is base. Please let me know the product, all of you. So the second one, the second one, H is going to be replaced with Na plus H two. Very good. So as you know that this alcohol is acid and NaOH is a base, so the product will be salt plus water. Can you tell me the answer for the first one, Nafisa? Yes, sir. Can you say again? What is the answer for the first one? You have given the answer for the second one. It's going to be two and then the benzene ring and then H is going to be replaced with two. Okay. Can you name it? H is going to be replaced with NA. I got your point, but can you name it in the same way that we did sodium alkoxide? It's very easy if you are going to relate. Sodium it. benzoxide. Uh, basically, it was phenol. So it will be phenoxide. Benzoxide. Okay. <clears throat> so you can see this is. Can you understand what I'm writing? So see, this is the phenol. H will be replaced by Na. And this H will be released. So this is this will be basically sodium phenoxide. In the same way, <clears throat> the other product will be written only the difference will be here it is two mole and here only the difference is the here it is two mole and here it will be only one mole when it is also sodium phenoxide along with water <clears throat> got it everyone please do write it and do let me know if you have any doubt. Yes, sir. Finish. Okay. What about you, Fawaz? Hamza, you are not responding at all. Sir, one second. Okay. Take your time and let me know. I think your one second is over, right? No, sir. Oh, yeah, one second. Yes, sir. Thank you. Now see. 
I'm going to write a question, which is very important for this chapter. Arrange the following. In increasing or decreasing, I'm taking increase. Order of. In increasing order of acidic character. So the question is very simple. First, I'm going to take the question number one A is RCH2H and then. And then B is very simple. <clears throat> or that means alkyl group. Please arrange these two questions. Sir, it, sir, the biggest for the sir for the biggest first for one, the yes. third one, and then second one, and then first one. Increasing order mm -hmm. of acidic character. This is the lowest. The, no, no, that's this the biggest. The weakest. Yeah. That is the strongest, right? Yes. Okay. So you thought it is it's to share really that so why it should be. Isn't it because it's the uh, symmetric? Uh, no, no, no. Acidic character, first of all, are you done with the question? Then I'm going to explain the mechanism behind this acidic character and basic character. <laughs> Fawaz, are you done with yes, the question? So should I start explaining? So see, whenever there will be a question on acid or base, I'm going to write a point, key point, which is very important for your organic chemistry. And the questions can be asked from any chapter for acidity, basicity, and stability. So see, what is acidic character means? Basically, this acidic character directly. Now, first of all, I want to ask you something. Do you know what is Lewis acid and Lewis base? Lewis acid and Lewis base, any answer? What is acid? How you are going to define acid? The FISA? What is acid? No answer. Okay, see, you have studied it in class 11. Acid is or 10th or 8th, the one which gives H plus is acid. <clears throat> yes. 
very good but the final in class 11th you have studied about lewis acid which is valid almost everywhere lewis acid this was failed h plus was failed because uh, earlier we defined it as uh, the substance which gives h plus is acid and the substance which gives oh minus is base but every substance in the universe is not required to have hydrogen or hydroxy hydroxide group every substance if i am going to ask you about co2 how you are going to define whether it is acid or base because it doesn't have hydrogen and hydroxide group so in order to overcome these problems <clears throat> there is a great scientist that is lewis acid and lewis uh, basically lewis and lewis defined acid as electron acceptor electron acceptor is lewis acid and lewis base or you can call it base electron donor is base electron donor is base so the substance which can give easily electron that is more basic that is a strong base that is a strong base or the substance which can take electron or which wants to take electron which withdraw electron with the high power is more uh, more acidic or a strong acid in comparison to that are you getting my point of view of ours yes sir so the key point is that <clears throat> acidic character is directly proportional to minus i do you know what does this minus i means minus i stand for <clears throat> inductive effect minus i <clears throat> wait a minute please <clears throat> this minus i acidic character and sorry minus i is basically inductive effect inductive effect minus that means basically it has power to withdraw electron or attract electron and it is also directly proportional to minus r minus r that means negative of resonance the molecules which takes electron or withdraw electron from <clears throat> its side by side uh, molecules and inversely proportional to plus i that means basically the molecule which has capable which are capable of donating electron are plus i effect or plus i properties positive inductive effect plus i and directly proportional to plus r please do write it whatever i am saying acidic character directly proportional to minus i directly proportional to plus i I'm sorry directly proportional to minus r inversely proportional to inversely proportional to plus r and also inversely proportional to 1 upon plus i so what is plus you know that the element which gives electron comes positive charge and the elements which withdraw electrons they will have negative charge so this that it will take electron it will have tendency to take electron so acidic character is the one which has tendency to take electron and always remember this r is basically alkyl group alkyl group that means methyl propyl butyl and it has tendency to plus it has tendency of plus i that means positive inductive effect positive inductive effect tendency to give electron to tendency to donate electron first of all write it and if i'm going to write minus i minus i that means tendency to gain electron tendency to 
First of all, write it and then I'm going for plus R and minus R. <clears throat> Yes, sir, Kamish. So, before moving to that point, I want to ask you. So, hit the back of the mouse. Uh, it does not have any mouse for us. I have okay. paint tab and I'm using it on laptop and do you have any other idea except this? Okay. So in the previous chapter, you have seen that we have done the resonance of this chlorobenzene. Yes or no, Nafisa? So chlorine has three lone pair and we did it by like this. And it. so you can see the chlorine is donating its electron. That means it has plus R. And if you are going to do the resonance of nitrobenzene, nitrobenzene, you will see that this nitrobenzene will take electron from benzene. That means this NO2 is withdrawing electron. Are you getting my point, Nafisa and everyone? Yes, sir. So if I will ask which one is more acidic according to this, so this nitrobenzene group will be more acidic. Are you getting my point? So is that clear plus I and plus R? Yes, sir. Now see, I'm going to. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. A minute. Okay. So now see, what is the Can everyone see the screen? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. Now see. I told you that R has plus I effect. R has plus I <laughs> effect. So you can see this R, uh, this H, uh, alcohol will get plus I from one side and this alcohol will get plus I from two sides and this alcohol will get plus I from two sides and this alcohol will get plus I from three sides. <clears throat> and we know that acidic character inversely proportional to inversely proportional to plus i that's why it is the strongest acid among them and then this so this is in decreasing order are you getting my point yes sir so, sir can you explain again see for r has plus i effect okay and we know that acidic character has uh, acidic character is inversely proportional to plus i effect. So, which one has more plus i effect? This because it it has three R. That means from three side plus i effect. From three side plus i effect, and acidic character inversely proportional to plus i effect. So, it has more plus i effect. That means less acidic. So, lowest plus i effect has this only from one side. That's why it is more acidic. Is that clear? Yes, sir.
can you tell uh, can you do the now see you can see it has no2 group no2 has minus i effect this no2 has minus i effect as well as this no2 has minus i effect because it is more electronegative this has minus i effect this has plus i effect this has plus i effect this has plus i effect this has minus i effect and this has plus i effect can you tell me which one is more acidic the strongest acidic among them the the molecule which has more minus i effect is the most acidic basically acidic character directly proportional to minus i that's why so it will be the strongest one the middle one will be the strongest one you can see this will be the strongest one and then can i change the slide it's first person now let me draw it again r it's very tough to write code wait a minute please now see this has minus i effect as well as plus i effect or that means alkyl group plus i effect. this has minus i effect this has minus i effect this has plus i effect this has minus i effect this has plus i effect this has plus i effect and the concept is simple acidic character directly proportional to minus i and inversely proportional to plus i now tell me which one is the strongest acid this is our a this is our b this is our c please tell me b is the strongest this is the strongest acid then what do you think a or c c see this has minus i effect and plus i effect this has also minus i effect plus i effect but you can see the c1 has c has sorry this has two plus i effect that's why it is more acidic b a and then c is that clear everyone yes sir
please do write it please let me know when you are done with this sir yes sir how to know which is a plus a effect and which is minus i i will send send you the list and the first of all the molecule or the element or the substance which is more electronegative more electronegative that means that will that wants to take electron or that will withdraw electron or attract electron okay okay everyone done with this i'm making some notes for you it will take time but yes, you will sir. get it okay so everyone is ready for the resonance i am going to give you phenol and you are going to write the resonance of it as you have done in the previous chapter So please, the resonating is. Uh, please write the resonating structure of. Phenol. Please write the resonating structure of. Phenol. This is phenol. Phenol. This oxygen. this oxygen has two lone pair please do write it please do, do let me know if you have any doubt
Nafisa, are you done with this? Yeah, I'm done with this. Okay. Nafisa, everyone done with this? Alia, Fawaz, Hamza? Yes, sir. So, can you tell me if you have done it, uh, which is plus R or minus R? Which is acting as plus R, that means donating electron or withdrawing electron from the engine ring. Nafisa, Sneha, Fawaz, see I'm going to explain, this will donating electron that means OH is acting as plus R effect and it will be like this. Alia, you are also not responding at all at least in chat this will have negative charge this will this will have negative charge there will be double bond oh and since oxy hydrogen is oxygen is donating so it will have positive charge so it will have positive charge now come to this there will be a double bond and there was double bond also. This will be moving like this and it will be moving like this. So, it will have negative charge, then double bond, then double bond, then OH plus. Now, like this and this. Double bond will be moving to this plus and then negative, then double bond O, H, and then plus. 
and there was double moiety also. Now this will be moving like this. Like this. You can see there is delocalization of pi bond now took place, and the position of double bond changes. So this is the resonating structure or resonance of phenol. Is that correct, Nafisa, Neha, Hamza, and Alia? Yes, sir. Okay, so can you understand why OH is plus R effect because it donated its electron to benzene ring? That's why. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Now I'm going to write question. You have to write in increasing order of acidic strength. So the first is basically protein one all. Please ask me if you are unable to read it. Two comma four comma six. Try nitrophenol. Try nitrophenol. Three nitrophenol. Three nitrophenol. Then the fourth one is <clears throat> three comma five. This is three comma five dinitrophenol. Dinitrophenol. Now the next one is phenol. And the next one is last one is four methyl phenol. Four methyl phenol. Question is very easy. First, I want to tell you is that NO two has. Wait a minute. NO two will have minus R effect and minus I effect. NO two has a property of minus R and minus I. If you have any doubt in this compound, please ask me. I'm going to read it. First one is propane one all. Second one is two comma four comma six tri nitrophenol. Third one is three nitrophenol. Fourth one is three comma five di nitrophenol. Fifth one is phenol, and sixth one is. Four methyl phenol. First, you are going to write the structure of it. Then you will get it easily.
Are you done with this, Nafisa? No, sir. Okay, please let me know if you have any doubt in this. Fawaz. Yes, sir. Are you done with this? Have you written the structure or with this? Sir, uh, first one, first one is uh, CS3, CS2, CS2, OH. Very good. Next one. Uh, sir, sir, I am doing. Very nice, Sneha. See, I'm going to explain. First, I'm going to write the structure. For us, the first one is right. Propane one all, that means CS3, CS2. CH two O H two comma four comma six trinitrophenol. So you can see this is phenol and two comma. With respect to this, this is the second position, comma three then four. This is the fourth position, fifth and then this is sixth. And then three nitrophenol with respect to O H with respect to O H. This is the third position. Now come to the next three comma five. With respect to OH, with respect to OH, you can see this is the first, second, third is this, NO2, and fourth and then fifth is this, NO2. Now, phenol. And that means this is the structure, phenol, and, and then for methyl phenol, that means basically with respect to OH, with respect to OH, this is methyl. So first of all, you have to keep it in mind that phenol is more acidic than alcohol because in phenol there is resonance. That why that's why its conjugate base is more stable. That's why phenol is more acidic than alcohol. So the lowest acidic is this. That's why phenol is more acidic than alcohol. So I'm going to take this A, B, C, D, E, and then F. Is there any part that I left? Okay, so this is the lowest one. Now, let me take from highest. You can see NO2 is minus I and minus R. So this will be the strongest. And then <clears throat> there are two NO2. So this will be the next. And then you can see when NO2 is here. So this now in phenol and methyl phenol. Methyl phenol is basically plus I F which is inversely proportional to acidic character that will reduce acidic character that's why phenol is more acidic than this methyl phenol f and then in the last it will come is that clear Nafisa? Yes, sir. so please write it i'll try my best to fix this uh, pen tab then tomorrow we will start from here. And if you have any doubt or regarding any chapter or this chapter, you can send the doubts 
or the topics in your uh, in the group you are added in and then we can discuss it Please write it and let me know when you are done with this. Yes, I finish. Okay, Nafisa, you may leave. Thank you for cooperating today. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.